One thing I'm constantly grateful for in Boston is the excellent and expansive public transport system. So the other day I was at the park and I decided that I just wanted to get out of Boston for the day. I'd been working all weekend and just kind of wanted a bit of an escape. So I looked and they were actually offering $10 weekend passes for the commuter rail. As many rides as you want for the weekend for only $10. So I decided I'm gonna go to Providence, Rhode Island and here's the trip. The travel itself was genuinely so easy. I did some homework on the way and it literally felt like probably 30 minutes when it was actually closer to, to about an hour. But the best part about trains, they dropped me off right in the center of the city. So I hopped off and headed first to the state house just because it was gorgeous. And I decided that I wanted to sit there and have some breakfast. I made it to Providence. I'm enjoying my breakfast right now. I'd done some research before coming just to kind of see what was going on and lucky for me the providence flea market was on sundays so i was able to go there which is really awesome fortunately it was kind of in like a weird area outside of providence it was a bit of a hike but i would say worth it there's a lot of like those artisan kind of goods the candles the crystals the jewelry and stuff that i wasn't particularly interested in but they definitely had some cool clothes vendors that were pretty inexpensive so i actually tried on two of these denim jumpsuits unfortunately neither of them worked but it was definitely it was a fun little outing just kind of a window shop I then headed back into like downtown Providence area and I went to this bookstore that had a bunch of used books called Seller Stories. Super cute, very just like hodgepodge, chaotic bookstore and I loved it. I actually found this really cool giant London map that I have a very exciting project that I'm gonna do with it. So stay tuned for that, but I am I was stoked. It was only 64 cents too, so what a deal. So far, I have to say, big fan of Providence, and it's only two o'clock. So now I'm going to the RISD Museum, free on Sundays. While I did really like the museum, I ended up heading to the Providence Athenium shortly after. There was a $5 recommended entry fee, which I just thought was stupid. Like, just make it $5. You don't have to have it be like a suggested donation. It was a really beautiful building. It was three stories and just full of books, old and new. I think the newer ones could actually be like checked out by members of the Athenium, but I'm not positive. The whole building was just filled with a bunch of tiny little like nooks where people could do work and read or just hang out, which I really liked. It just had a very cozy feeling. I actually ended up finding my own little corner where I could get some work done. And I actually cranked out one of my homework assignments that was due this week. So it ended up being quite a productive little stop. This was also the weekend of daylight savings, so it started to get dark incredibly early. So I ended up getting an early dinner at this like weird pizza place, got a slice and a salad, which was like decent. And then I ended up just taking the 550 train home because it was already gonna get dark and I just did not need to walk around Providence in the dark. But before I left, I stopped at a gas station to get an ice cream sandwich and then I headed home.